Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. So this is basically part two of my last money run video. A lot of you have been asking, you know, what happens if you don't spawn uh, next to the village? What if you spawn at outskirts? So on and so forth. So I'll show you what I would usually do if I do spawn on the other side. Uh, I kind of spawn behind the USAC camp. We're going to start off looting the USAC camp, but I'm, uh, I'm going to try and get on the road in front of the USAC camp where you would be coming into the USAC camp if you spawned at the outskirts, basically. All right, as you can see, I don't know if you guys recognize the spot, of course, but that up there is the USAC camp. Pretty much all of this sand area and those rocks there are covered in mines, so you don't want to run there. I'll show the road really quickly. This is the road you would come along, basically, if you spawn at the outskirts. The outskirts is somewhere back there. So you cross the road here. You're uh, perfectly safe to climb up the hill here. I don't know what the guy is doing. Obviously, my dude is uh, struggling a bit, so put him um, put him out of his misery. Uh, so, yeah, to carry on, we're going to climb up the hill here. Don't have to worry about this at all. There's a M4 spawn plus more weapon loot on top of this, and I believe you can get up the rock from here. You can climb up. Um, I skipped that. I don't want to be climbing any rocks. So first thing you do, pass the sandbags, check the table for attachments, hexagon, night vision scope, not bad. Then next thing you do, there's a weapon crate right here. Obviously bring, bring the biggest bag you can possibly get your hands on. This table spawns stuff as well. And then we're going to check the, um, the pallets in between the rock. Same here. Uh, you can get valuable spawns, gold chain, stuff like that. Here we go. Horses. I think you can get like roosters and stuff like that as well. And another weapon box on top of the, the crate here. Now, generally, in all honesty, I just skip the user camp like five times out of ten. Like half the time, I just skip it. Because I don't want to get into a confrontation with other players. So I think this car here on the on the seat, you can get an M4. And there's another weapon box at the back of the pickup truck. And the main reason I skip it is because I feel like this is a bit of a hot, hot zone. You can check this seat as well just in case. But I think it's the black, uh, black car that has the M4 spawn. I'm 99% uh, sure. So you come into this tent. And uh, as I was saying, there's a medical supply crate. I feel like it can get kind of busy around this area here. So if you do want to get into a fight, you don't mind a little fight and uh, clicking some heads, then uh, this is a perfect place for you to start this route. I thought I heard someone. Possible I did. Maybe I didn't. Uh, just in case, gonna use my painkiller. Never hurts to be uh, under the influence of painkillers uh, when you're playing this game. So next thing you do, you go run along these rocks towards the, I don't know, medical area, I suppose is what you could call this. And that's another spot you want to be careful at. Because there are players that are interested in Salewas and stuff like that around here. So you come uh, here where the little satellite dish thing is and uh, another table with more weapon parts weapon box here i generally keep, skip the weapon parts to be honest but it doesn't hurt to check them and another technical supply crate or actually the first one we've had today or in this raid i like to pick up pretty much everything i can uh, check for bullets on top of these Another weapon box. And I think this table has spawns as well, like weapon parts. And I do check these uh, big weapon boxes as well. You can uh, every now and then get it, get yourself a nice gun out of these, so can't hurt. And we're going to check the tent here. There's another crate. Check the surfaces. We got a ration supply crate. Salt is worthless right now. Or it was like two, three grand yesterday. 
And pretty much all the purple items, I believe, are worth picking up. I, I can't think of any any of the purple items that are not worth picking up. So, check on top of this. Obviously, ibuprofen, pretty good, like 40k. Saline. Squash, I guess someone is... Uh... I, I do recommend picking up juice. Juice isn't like food. It's... This raid can get kind of long, so you might need a uh, need to eat or drink in the middle of it sometimes. So check this little tarp uh, that's on the ground as well. As you can see, we found a golden star. So you can find all kinds of stims, um, first aid kits, and so on. So pretty much everything medical related, and apparently food as well, because people like to eat during surgeries, I suppose. And uh, we're gonna run. Okay, so that's. A gamer moments. Let me fix my leg really quickly. All right, we're good to go. So, run between the two uh, ponds, I guess, and keep to the left. You see this big tower over there, and we're gonna go straight towards that. There's a chance that rogue boss spawns there, so if they do, you're pretty much dead anyway. So, one way to find out if they're here is just taking a grenade in your hand. Throwing it. And generally, if there's rogues here, you will hear English voice lines. You know, the usual grenade and all that stuff. And if you hear English voice lines, either rush into the bunker and hope for the best that they don't kill you on your way here. And they will push you down here and you can kill them. Or just do 180 and just dip. I probably recommend the second option. So, duffel back here. As well, Recom highly recommend the uh, looting duffel bags. Uh, toolbox, obviously. Uh, check inside of these little server racks. Or I don't even know what they're called. And more industrial loot in front of this. Toolbox. Stuff on the ground here. You get food spawns. Someone's in a bush. Could be a player, could be a scav. It's probably a scav, because scavs do roam here. Hence the name scav bunker. Uh, once you get in here, valuable spawn on this little mattress. Like you can get like bitcoins, gold chains, stuff like that. Um, and apparently on this side as well, I actually didn't know that there's any spawns over here on this side. So, and on the what you call it, I don't even know, countertop, uh, duffel bag. Again, good thing about this route is there's quite a few scavs, and if you kill scavs, you can take their rigs, and you'll fit more loot into the into the um into the back i guess so duffel bag more valuable spawns in here a uh, table for food stuff and underneath this bed you get valuables like this rooster which is great to have and i do recommend checking checking out the jacket as well and as you can see we've only looted two compound compounds and we're pretty much full of loot and we're pr pretty much only halfway through the uh, loot run. I'm gonna pain kill again. <clears throat> Pay attention to your hydration if you're using <clears throat> ibuprofen and your energy if you're using uh, golden star. And uh, let's see if we're dealing with a player or a scab here. I'm gonna drop my back because I don't wanna. Bro's evading me, so let me pick up my bag. Kill him really quickly. I really hope there's no one else around here. I can't be asked. So kill him. Check on top of these. This little broken box, I believe. And spawn stuff as well, valuables. Vodka stuff like that. Spawn on, uh, on top of here. That box here, I never looted. And you get the uh, grenade box here. Generally, I recommend always checking grenade boxes because you can get uh, impact needs and hurt. And uh, I'm gonna loot this scav real quick. It doesn't have the greatest rig ever. Just don't know how many. So, yeah. So, this takes six slots, as you can see, and it provides eight slots. So, it's not a bad idea to just chuck stuff into here. 
and uh, let me try and make this work. And now you have two extra slots, basically. And we're gonna get back on the road here. I'm gonna go towards the blue fence you can see over there. This is also where the rogue bosses could reside. I'm gonna pop a mule if I have one, just because I don't wanna make this guy like 60 minutes long. Get some stamina back and walk into here. Generally, if, if the rogue bosses are here, like, you won't even have a chance to react. They will just destroy you. So I think we're in the clear here. Uh, we got a supply, supply crate. Shanka probably isn't worth picking up, to be honest. Let me eat this one as well. Check inside of here. I'm pretty sure there's one in here. I can't actually think of what spawns in there, though. Gamer moments. And we're gonna go straight upstairs here. Food spawn. Check the bedding. Table here. I believe this table can spawn moonshines. And this little sack, whatever you call this, uh, can spawn valuables. If it's a gold chain or something, it's, there's a good chance that it's inside of the thing. So just hover over. I don't know if I can demonstrate this. I can't. Uh, give me my gold chain back. So, but yeah, basically it can spawn inside of this uh, little sack. So hover over it. If you get the loot indicator, that means there's something there and you, you should be able to pick it up. Check the table here. Check the bedding here. Nothing here this time. I'm not sure if this spawns anything, to be honest. I'm gonna check this little sh shack here. This food spawn, pretty much any food spawn I believe I've shown you, can be a moonshine as well, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna skip this crate. Once again, feel free to loot it. I'm gonna skip these. And uh, where this little fence is cut off, we're gonna run downhill. Hopefully we don't break anything this time. Now, since last wipe, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the sunken village. Before this wipe, there were no scav spawns, but now they can spawn scavs, and they are extremely annoying here because they can crouch in tall grass and they just mess you up very quickly. So try and keep your eyes peeled and hope for the best. And also, while we're walking, Try and do this at night time, guys. It's just so much safer. There's no reason not to do this at night time. Toolbox here. I'm going to skip it because I don't like looting out in the open like this. I'm kind of paranoid. And pretty much every house I checked. I think there's a scab. I want to get rid of him before he goes in. Sits in the grass somewhere. So he, this guy has a really nice rig. And uh, check his pockets as well. Sometimes you get 10 grand. What you can do is, if you drop their bag, everything will go straight to the rig if you control and left click. And yeah, save yourself a little time without, so you don't have to drag everything um, item by item. So let's get back in here. Valuable spawn around this little uh, sleeping bag. Med spawn on this, I believe. Inside of here, valuables. And uh, this bedding as well, valuables and horses and stuff like that. I think horses can spawn on the ground here as well, along with other valuable stuff. Emergency water rations, one slot, like 20 grand. Always pick those up. Nothing uh, too great this time. I'm gonna lube up again, because I am addicted. I hear someone approaching. It's a scab. Bring us another rig. Don't mind that. You can search your pockets, like I said before. And hurt. And just throw everything into the rig. And once again, this t takes 9 slots. Provides 10. It ain't much, but if you think about it, one slot 
that's like 10 grand if you pick up on average like 10 grand per slot and then actually i don't want to use that right now and plus you make money off of the rig itself as well so what on? like i said tall grass can't see a damn thing i hate these guys I think he left. Alright, so this table here. We have a sugar this time. This can spawn moonshines as well. Like I said, almost every food spawn can equal a moonshine. And another rig. So scav vest is... I highly recommend picking up scav vest because... They can go from 20 to 30k. It's literally free money. Gonna drop the max we get hot rods uh like i said drop the bag and then you can just control left click stuff into your rig so go through the broken fence inside of this boat you get valuables boat chains coins stuff like that run into this building here check the corners the middle of these two bushes and inside of this bush here is um uh, all valuable spawns like gold chains and stuff like that i'm gonna go around the back And there's a marked circle here. You get a horse. Also, some of you may have already seen me make a video on this. So this is basically me showing spots that I missed last time. And plus, obviously, a lot of you were asking, like, what do you do if you don't get the village spawn or whatever? So if you think you've seen this route before, I made a video on it before. So cross the road into the bow shack. Uh, somewhere over here is... A valuable spawn, gold chains, bitcoins, all that good stuff. Two bucks, and uh, check the bench here as well. Now, if you have high, high enough strength, you can get into this uh, church tower on this side. If you don't have good enough strength, and obviously we're super heavy right now as well, we're gonna have to go around. So we're gonna take the long route. But let's say you don't have, you're not very heavy, you have good strength. You can just go in through the water here and jump onto that little rooftop thing there. We're gonna loot all these buildings as well. Don't, don't you worry about that. But I'm gonna start off with that one over there. Also, if you feel like you don't want to loot that side, you can, instead of jumping out off the, jumping down the hill from uh, where we were, that's the scav bunker area. Instead of going down that way, you can come this way. So. I just walked past the door. So get into this building. Inside of this bush, you get a valuable spawn. Once again, roosters, gold chain, stuff like that. And then there's a stash right next to it. Power cords can hurt. I'm going to top up my mag real quick. And I'm going to drink this because it's only worth like 15k. So now we're at the stage where I can start sorting out loot. Because, well, I'm full of loot. Let's see how long I have for the meal. So we have, a, we have a good couple of minutes, so it should be good until the end of the raid. So I'm going to run straight out here. Daytime, this is kind of risky. You could get domed as you're doing this. But YOLO, anything for uh, YouTube views. So inside of this boat where this rope is in a knot, you can spawn valuables. And then inside this tower. Gold chains, bitcoins, once again, roosters, clocks, stuff like that. There's a guy in the house over there. And I'm a terrible shot. But, one taps. So, I don't know what quest I completed. I didn't pay attention, but you go here, you run into this corner, jump, jump again, and that's how you get up. You're pretty much guaranteed to have no stamina left once you get up. If you're, if you're super heavy, you jump into the corner, you get up the rocks, you're pretty much guaranteed to be out of stamina, like I said. So we're gonna long, go along the water, go to this building here. The 
Just check the sink. I, actually, I'm not 100% sure if there's anything in the sink. I think there is. Check the table, and then... Don't mind people blowing themselves up, by the way. Uh, more medical stuff here. Get food around the little... Oven, I guess. I don't know what that is. Uh, let me see. What can I drop? I do like to pick up sugars, because they're like a good investment into the... Into the future, I, I suppose. What can we drop? Um, I don't really want to drop anything, to be fair with you. I'll drop my mask and pick uh, wear the helmet. I'll we'll pick up this stuff. Check the table. Duffel bag. Can't hurt to check it. More tea. And then inside of this tent, you get valuables. Once again, if it's like a gold chain or something, it can't stick inside of the tarp, so... Pay attention when you're uh, looting. I'm gonna lube up once more. <clears throat> I really hope they don't add addiction to this game anytime soon, because I'm gonna be absolutely toast once they do. And going to this building. This guy already checked it, but we're gonna do it anyway, because we can. So on this bed, bullets, but you can spawn like water, emergency water rations and stuff like that. And then we're gonna cross the road into the last building. Which also completes the loot run, basically. Check the table, the barrel in the corner. The, um, the mattress, there's something in here as you can see. Once again, stuff is glitching inside of the items. And we have a gamer over here somewhere. Uh, underneath the beds, you get valuable spawns. And as you can see, an M M MRE in the corner here. And you also have the table, so... I'm gonna run away from this guy, because I don't really want to fight. There's no reason to fight with a full bag of loot. So, he can do whatever he wants to do. I'll leave him the body of his friend that I killed. Now, generally, I wouldn't run on the rocks here. But obviously, it doesn't really matter where you run. But I did want to show you guys the... If you go along the water there, you keep going that way, you will eventually get to the card extract. If you watch the first video, that's the the main extract point of that video. And it can be the extract point of this video as well. But I do want to show you the... What's it called? As you can see, the bridge is taken anyway, so there's no point in going there. If it's red, it means it's taken. I actually have the outskirts <laughs> extraction, which is not ideal because I uh, I thought I would have the other one, but I'm gonna show you what I, where I would extract anyway. So as you can see, that's the village over there. Down this road, at the end of it is the bridge where you extract. Now, where I would be going, if you don't have the bridge, is the, you got the old sawmill here. On my left, basically, if you run the opposite direction of the car extract, and we just ran out of meals, so we're absolutely toaster. Uh, this is gonna be painful. I don't think I have anything either. The old sawmill right here on my left. Now, if you want, you can loot it, but you really don't need to at this point. If like, if you made it so far and you looted everything I've shown you, there's no way you need any of the uh, any more loot, so. And this is a great example of why you should be carrying a meal as well. So I'm gonna drop my bag around here so I can pick it up. In about a second. I just wanna show you where the extraction is really quickly. Alright, that's... So basically, that's the road you would be coming down from if you were going the opposite direction of the bridge extract or coming out the village. And uh, that blue gate over there is your extract. The light is never on. I thought I used I used to think, or I think it used to be, that the light would have to be on for you to be able to extract. But you can always take the extracts if you don't have the outskirts. All right, guys. As you can see, we are cutting it very close, but looks like we're gonna make it out unless uh, there's a uh, absolute unit of a gamer chilling at the extract as we speak. I will put on the screen how much I made. The fees, all that stuff, uh, as I did in the first video. If you guys made it this far, I would really appreciate it if you 
would consider subscribing and maybe even liking the video. I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please do tell me what I missed, if there's any other spawns that I should be checking, and let me know how it goes. Thank you, and have a wonderful day, guys. Take care.